Hey everyone, if you are just dreaming of creating an outstanding design agency website without spending a single dollar, then you are the right place. In this video, I will show you how to use AI and Framer to build a professional conversion focused website for free. Yeah, you hear that right, absolutely free. Before go ahead, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and comment below. This is a great video, we want more video like this. So first I will show you how you will get the Figma and Framer template for free then how you can customize the frame and design then show you how you can change the image the text and color everything then publish the website then set up the custom domain set up custom fab icon and social media sharing image and much more before go ahead let me show you what you're just going to make so this is the website that we're just going to customize so as you can see this is on a beautiful header with an as you can see contact form like with a whatsapp number then an a great content with 120 happy clients then have a button with description and if they click on here this button then they will be redirect into the pricing section from there they can simply book the call here we can see the re recently doing project all of this people can see in here all the services that we offer testimonial and here's all the features and then the featured works and then here testimonial about what people are saying about then about the founder and here the some logos that we already work with here is smell the pricing option also people can do the book a call option from there here is an faq section and again the CDA option and a beautiful footer section at the bottom. Now if you're just going to see the responsiveness, this design is 100% responsive. So let's go here this tablet version to see this design as you can see. Uh, let's go to the mobile first of all. Okay, this is the mobile version. This is the menu bar as you can see. And if I scroll down then you will get to see something like this. As you can see everything is, looks pretty nice. So if you check my video description, then it, you will get a two file. One is like Figma design file, another is like Framer template for free. So if you just click on this Figma design file, then you will get to see something like this type of template here, and all of this content is ready. So to duplicate this file or to edit this file, you need to click on here this arrow, and then you need to click on this duplicate button, then you'll get this exactly same to same file in your Figma account. But if you see, okay, there is no duplicate option, then you need to create an a Figma account. So make sure uh, just before clicking on this link, you just create an a Figma account in there. And then if you just try it, then you'll get, okay. Now, in here, you can simply double click, then you can add content, but we are not going to do any kind of changes in there. We're not gonna do any text changes. We're gonna only do the images, but in later, I'm gonna show you, not now. Okay, now let's go to the next link. It's mainly the Framer uh, template for free, so I'm just going to copy the link. And let's open in a browser. And now, if you're just going to click on a link, then you will be redirect on this page. And now in here, you need to create an account. So you can simply go with Google, or if you wanna enter your email account, then you can simply enter it. So I'm going to continue with Google. So let's click on there. And now select my email address, and let's click on continue, this button. And it's showing my name and email address. So let's click on agree, and let's click on here, this continue button. And after this, as you can see, we're just redirecting on this page. So right now, this is mainly the template that we're gonna customize and make our own website. Okay, so first of all, let me tell you a little bit about a Framer. So, okay, so this is, as you can see, they're showing the preview, okay? So Framer is on a platform where we can directly design and develop our website. And people can just come to a website, they can visit it, and whatever, you know, whatever you information like to provide, you can do, okay? So right now, this is our website, but this is not published yet. And if we publish this website, then anyone from the world, people can visit our website. So right now, it's not published yet. Okay, so before publish, we need to do a little bit of customization, and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how we can do the customization only. Okay, so in Framer, you will get an option here. This is mainly the, if you click on this plus icon, then you can create pages, section, navigation, menu, and all of this stay there. Also have elements, media, forms, icon, a lot of things there you can just explore by yourself. And this is something, as you can see, frame, row. This is mainly for designing elements. This is the text, and this is CMS. 
CMS is something like if you like to make a blog website, right? Then you need to make a post, a lot of content there. So that time you can use these um, blog websites. So if you like to see any blog website creation and framework, just let me know and, and comment. We're gonna uh, make a different video about that. And this is something action. So this is not necessary right now. So if you just click on any here of this, then you get three options, pages, layer, and asset. So asset is something like your components a layer is like inside of the pages and pages this one so if you like to create a different pages for this then you can simply just create new page or which page you want you can simply select it so we are not going to create a new page in here so let's go to this layer and inside our layer as you can see it's have a lot of things um, a lot of things you can see this is mainly the layers so if you buy using Photoshop any other tools then it's kind of same now let's start with the header so let's see how we can customize the header section so in header, first of all, if you're just going to click on this left side, it's have a logo. So if you double click and just change the text, just simply like this way, hello agency, like this way, then you're gonna change. As you can see now, it's more totally changed. And this is our nav bar. And as you can see, this is all about the nav bar. And if you just double click on there, then as you can see, it's redirect on different pages. And also you, you show in a video that what is my component. So it's with the component with an uh, animation. So you don't need to change anything in there. So if you like to change it to something different, eels, let's say service to contact, then you can do it, right? Uh, let me show you that, how it. So let's say I like to add a new option there, pricing to uh, contact. So what I can do, I can simply just control D. When I can press control D, then as you can see, I get a new option there and it's a pricing. And as you can see, when I double click on there to change the content, it's redirect my this page. And now I change it to let's say contact and as you can see also it's changed right and now if I go back and as you can see it's now changed and if I just going to click on here this nav menu then as you can see it's have a gap almost 48 pixels so let me make it 44 and as you can see it's reduced the gap if you make it uh, 40 pixel then it's reduced the gap and if you're just going to click on this uh, main desktop file and if you're just going to click on this play icon then it's gonna take a little bit of time and as you can see we get a new option contact okay so now when I just going to click on this contact option it's redirecting me on our pricing page that I really I don't really want it right so let me delete one of the contact page so this is happening because of if you double click on there then you will get to see here and a link option link in home in a section called this one so this was link to this plan section that's why so if you're just going to click on here, this minus option, and then it's gonna unlink right now. So if you go to this home again, click on this play icon again, and if you're just going to click on this contact option, as you can see, now it's not working. But if you like to link it to, let's say our, this page or this section, how we can do? So let's go back and let's let's go to this specific section where you like to link it so let's say i want to link it to this one so it's mainly called a call to action so go there and if you go to scroll down a little bit and then you will get to see an option called scroll section just click on there and now we need to type here the name so i'm going to let's say this is our contact so i simply type here the contact and now let's go to at the top and let's double click on a contact and now let's say uh, go to the link option and now let's say uh, select the home and section will be let's say contact and no and it's smooth let's click on here this top home let's again select it click on this play icon and now if you are just going to click on this contact option it's gonna redirecting us into this page so I hope you understand right now that how we can add the nav menu item now let's go to the next option. This is about the uh, let's talk like this button. So right now it's have a let's talk in WhatsApp icon. So if you like to change the I, I mean the link of this. So you need to go here this Slack option. So if you go to Slack, then you can simply change the link into something else. So if you like to uh, link it to Calendly or Google Calendar, whatever you want, you can simply paste the link. Then it's when someone gonna click they will be redirect on there. So yeah, this is Melly. And if you like to change this icon, so then you need to double click on there, just double click. 
Then as you can see, it's have an icon. So if you like to change the icon, just click on an icon. Then as you can see, it's have an option called fill with WhatsApp icon. Click on there and now choose the icon, choose the image which uh, option you like to use. If I like to use calendar, calendly, call icon, whatever you want, just change the icon, then it's gonna be done. Or if you don't want, if you like to delay it, just click on the cross pattern, then it's gonna be removed. So I'm just going to keep it as it is. Let's go back to home again. All right, so now you understand about like how we can update the header and also let me tell you some more option here onto this uh, right sidebar so this is mainly about the size all about as you can see is auto and here is mainly have a effect an overlay and it's also have a style i don't think that you need to change anything in there you can simply do the changes on on the text then it's going to be updated instantly okay now let's say I don't really want this option. So what I can do, I can simply click on here of this option. Simply just click on there. And if you don't want it, then you can simply click on this delete button to delete it, then it's gonna be deleted, okay? So in my case, I just delete it. And here is merely, I need to update the content. So for the updating the content, I like to use here ChatGPT, Claude, and, and let's say um, Gemini. So let me open all of this. So let me open Gemini and ChatGPT, all of this. So before writing in a prompt, you just need to make a little bit a paragraph type of thing. Uh, it's something like this. Let me show you that what is mainly this. So this is something like role, objective, unique selling point, tone, and emotion. This is the basic thing when you're just going to write a prompt. If you just write down about your company or about your business, this information, then AI will be work much more better how you want they're gonna give you same type of result so that's why this is much more important okay so right now i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to in plot i'm gonna paste it here okay so like this we can do let's go back to gemini again and uh, let's say read it and write for my website hero section title and subtitle like this. So I type here this, read it, and based on this, write for my website hero section and subtitle. Okay, let's do the same thing here. You can send, send the same prompt in chat GPT also. Okay, so as you can see, this is the text they give us. So let's click on the show draft to see more. Okay, so here, as you can see, elevate your business with high company. Okay, this is another one. Okay, let's see, Claude, what suggesting expert design and development. Okay, this is pretty nice. I think this is looks a little bit more, much more better. Elevate your website. Okay, this is good. So let's copy the text. Go back to our website again. Let's come back in. Double click and select all of them and simply paste it. Paste the content that we recently copied from Gemini. Let's go back again. And let's copy here this subtitle again. And let's go to our browser and double click on this text and paste it as you can see now our content is updated and also if you see here this it's have a little bit space right now so to see the space like how much space there you can simply hold on option and from your keyboard then you can see like it's over half 40 pixel so if you want to reduce it then click on this inside of this content as you can see inside of this box scroll down and then you will get to see the gap there so let's say i want to go with 32 pixel or 24 pixel or let's say 20 pixel then you can simply modify it okay so now when i do the update as you can see it's update automatically every single place it's update the mobile version tablet version and everywhere and it's also have a button called see places this is also linked with our pricing section so okay now it's updated now let's click on here this play icon and now let's see, as you can see now, our website item is almost updated. Okay, now this is looks fine. And now we're gonna go to the next section. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back to here. And now in the next section, it's a little bit complicated, but yeah, it's not hard something, it's also easy. So I'm gonna show you a little bit later. First, let me update my website content, okay? So here are mainly the services that I offer. So let me tell them again, the AI, just 
right for me on a service I that I offer um, service that I offer with title and subtitle okay let's see okay here is only the three option they do okay so I like to get something like best on the com best on the last result okay best on the last result so that they're gonna follow it they're gonna follow uh, the la the before one so as you can see they give me website design website development CRO and UX optimization this is really good right this is how I want so I copy it and I just going to simply paste it let's go back again I just copy here this hex go back again and update the content and also let me do the last one let me copy just simply double click and copy and let's go to the browser and like my website here and double click and select and simply paste it and as you can see now it's changed so before it's something else and right now it's changed and it's changed automatically on the mobile also so we don't need to worry about the mobile so it's changed automatically and now as you can see it's have a pro it's have an a, a testimonial type of thing so you can simply do the changes you can type here whatever your client saying and now you can type here your client name so let's say my client name is um, Ozzy Horn client I'm typing it right so Ozzy Horn and see you at the company name let's say it's gonna be company company name and we also need to add here an image so to add the image we need to do one thing so we're gonna go back to Figma I think it's gonna be easy or if you want to do directly from there then you need to go here this fill option and you need to go ahead this last option and from here you can simply add the image so let's say I like to choose an image go to choose and go here the desktop let's say I like to choose this one uh, let's open it and it's gonna take a little bit of time and as you can see our image is updated right now so now it's changed so by this way you can simply change the image okay now let's go to the next one and this is something also uh, talking about the features so it's easy to do the changes so what you can do I can tell here into AI best on the whole based on the full conversation full conversation right for me um, how many features you like to offer let's say I like to offer okay let's see about the design first so every single time it's have a two so we we can take either four either uh, let's say six so let's say I like to go with only six so what I can do I can simply remove last two of them so when I remove it as you can see it's automatically removed from other places so I don't need to worry about that so if I remove from this empty space then it's done and also I can remove the empty space from here so as you can see it's automatically removed from everywhere now let's go here and I'm just going to write uh, conversion write for me four features for my website so yeah so based on the full conversation just write for me four features for my website so let's see what they're offering or what they're telling about as you can see this is one of them uh, rapid turn around this is also really good so let's go here the website and let's simply double click and paste it and let's simply copy and paste the content simply you can copy and paste okay so by this way you can update all of them uh, I don't know waste your time and now let's go to the next one this is about the changing the icon so how we, we can do the icon change it so for updating the icon I think we can do it from Figma it's kind of more better so let me show you so let's say I like to change here the icon I like to give something different so let's go here so double click on here just this and let's click on here this Figma plugin go here and we can go with huge icon this one and it was like rapid turn around so I like to go with rocket something so rocket icon so this is looks fine that I want so this is so let's click on and as you can see we get the icon and now let's click on this right sidebar 
and just go here this export option and from here you can simply HVZ this one and let's click on export rocket and now we need to select where I like to export so I like to go with the download option let's go back to uh, like again the framer again uh, let's go back to finder and simply drag and drop here the icon as you can see we get the icon there so here is it Melly. here is it so let's simply select it and press Control X so when you press Control X let's go to here this page just click on here this icon again and simply we already press Control X now press Control V so after pressing Control V we can simply place it as you can see we just going to place it the same place and we need to delete the previous one so the previous one here so I need to delete so when I delete it as you can see we place here and a new new icon All right so as you can see now it looks fine and if you go here this mobile version and then it's automatically updated everywhere this is also updated from everywhere so now if you go to see the preview click on this preview option and right now if you just scroll down as you can see this is our new icon okay so if you don't understand no worries let me show you the next that how we can go to the next one okay so I'm going to go back to my Figma again so you can use literally any icon noun project flat icon any I can use this okay but I'm showing you that it's possible okay let's go to the next one and I like to do let's say this one I like to change so I double click double click so I think this is right now in company and that's why it's look like kind of blue color I'm not oh, this is not blue but as you can see the different color if you see uh, if you're just going to compare with the container one so I'm going to make it detach instant and then double click here on this icon click on this uh, here this component like this icon then go here this plugin option and now in plugin you need to search at the search here then a plugin name it's called huge icon just search it then you will get it just click on there click on run option All right, so now it's searching let's say I like to go with uh, which one I like to go let's see about first next context was affordable pricing so it's talking about the pricing so uh, we can search here pricing so price so I'm gonna show here the pricing okay so we can show you let's say USD or currency so here as you can see the currency so Bitcoin but I want dollar so dollar okay so here as you can see the dollar half so I like to choose let's say this icon or this icon coins icon or whatever you want let's say I want this one so after read as you can see it's selected right now let's click on export button go with PNG to SVG export it as you can see we get the file let's go back to the browser I mean framer again and now we need to drag and drop the file that we recently export the file as you can see we get it right now and let's zoom in simply select it control X go back to where you like to change let's say I like to go with this so let's simply this the left sidebar and simply paste here so as you can see when I select on this left sidebar as you can see if I just show you that this is already have a component so I select it and inside of this I remove the old one and just get the new one and as you can see now it's updated from everywhere so if I go here this side now it's updated and by this way you can also change the content I already share with you and also if you like to update the link of this any kind of button then it's also easy just go here this upper side and then you will get to see the link option you can simply change the link okay so now by this way I believe you can uh, do it by yourself and this is not a hard something right now this is right now it's pretty easy I think okay so as you can see it's over some little bit empty space so let me remove it so now it's removed it okay now we're gonna go to the next section it's merely updating the images so this is mostly an easiest thing I think let me show you how it's possible so let's say I like to update here an image so first of all I need to go to my Figma file so in my Figma file I need to go here and here you need to place an image so literally you can do it in many ways uh, it can be impossible in many ways so let's say I like to place an image for my computer so it can be any this one this color palette let's say just simply drag and drop the color palette and as you can see we get the color palette in here 
and now I simply adjust I need to resize it so if you see here this size then it's 360 or 12 of the width so I click on my image and as you can see right now it's link link is something like if we change the height it's automatically update the width also so in here I need to change it to 360 right so I just go here and I'm just going to make 360 since it's linked option so that's why when I change this um, height it's automatically changed the width so let's simply control X we cut it and let's go here this file inside of it as you can see now this file is selected and press control V and as you can see we get this file right now and now if you like to increase it then you need to press K so if you press K then it's gonna be increasing and now we can resize it how you want so let's simply select it and make a center as you can see now it's center but the problem is here whatever I'm doing as you can see it's showing everywhere of these pages to make the disable you need to click on here this main frame and you need to click on here this clip content now as you can see it's not showing everywhere and now in here we can make a resize so again to make the resize we need to press K and then as you can see we can simply resize it like this way and make them center center and we need to make a little bit bigger than here so just make a center and center like this way and yeah now it looks pretty nice and as you can see our image is now ready now what you need to do it's it's like before just double click on a frame and go here and export option and simply select how you want I like to let's say PNG click on export option and as you can see we get the image to place the image we just need to double click on it here and as you can see we get the option for choose the image simply choose it and now simply choose the image that we recently export so this is the image that we recently choose as you can see it's now selected now let's go to the next one to place this image just double click on here when you just click on double click we get this option but if you're not getting it then just go here this right sidebar it's have an option called fill click on here this image and then as you can see it's have a option at the right uh, this one so just click on choose image so recently I was exposed on the image this one so just double click and as you can see now it's selected okay so this is the way by this way you can simply place the image and by this way you can simply add the image so as you can see if it's not selected if it's not working then you need to place the image in the same way just double click choose the image and choose the image in here and as you can see now it's added double click choose the image just click on choose and simply choose the image and as you can see now this image is also added so from everywhere you can do the same thing in mobile also you can follow the same thing okay all right so now I think you understand about it like how to update the image now let's go to the next section it's mainly called the testimonial section so it's pretty simple like like uh, like before so you can simply type here the name whatever you want you can do or whatever you like to change the content you can do it and also in here this option is same let's say you like to change the content but when I double click on here it's not working it's not showing anything because of this it's merely adding an a ticker so ticker is something like we use for doing carousel so now in here let's go to this left sidebar as you can see so now we can change here this content let's say I like to make it only this content so I do the changes I like to change here my image so double click on there and now in here we need to go the fill option right to change the image so double click on here so this is not about that so let's go here and let's go to the fill option let's go to the last one let's change the image into let's say I like to go with this image so now as you can see it's changed right now also if you don't like to get this fiber photo just click on this delete button now it's gonna gone also you can change here this founder of which company so you can simply type the company name also if you like to change the name into let's say I like to go with control A and select Aussie and Aussie <laughs> so now as you can see it's updated right now so if you go here on my design and let's just play it and now it's take a little bit of time let's go here this testimonial and as you can see uh, it's updated right now Okay, this is client 4, client 5, client 6, it's showing right now. Okay, now it's again the coming client 1, like Azi Azi that we do the changes, it's here. So I hope now you understand how to change your, this testimonial. And also it's kind of same thing with this uh, company logo. So if you double click on there, then as you can see it's 
uh, happening in a ticker. So in ticker, it's have a little bit setting. Let me show you a little bit. So as you can see, we can change the direction. Right now it's coming to this way, right? So if you wanna make it something different, then you can do it. If you like to go with different one, then you can do it like this way. Also, you can change this alignment. If you like to make them center or top or bottom, whatever you want, you can simply make them in there. So let me make them in the top, as you can see. Also, if you like to make a little bit of space in there, like padding, as you can see, right side have a 20, left side have a 20, so you can do it. Also, if you like to add a new item, let's say you like to add a more, have a more items, so simply click on this add button, choose it, and you can simply, that item you can choose, and as you can see, now we just added it in here, okay? So you can simply choose it. So right now it's a little bit hard to finding out which one is adding, um, but if you're just going to duplicate it, if you're just going to duplicate, let's say I like to go with this one, and then if you like to add a link, so let me go to the uh, top of this option, and let's go here, uh, let's say this is my card, I like to change the name. Just click on left sidebar and let's say this is seven or eight. Let's say it's gonna be seven. And I like to link it. So I simply select. And from there, you can simply link it. Okay, let's see. So simply select this one, this option, and simply link it to the next one. As you can see, now it's also linked. And now if you see here that this have another one, it's automatically adding. Uh, it's have a card seven that I automatically added. So if you like to remove any of them, then simply click on this remove option, then you can remove it. So by this way, you can add a new testimonial if you like to add. That means it's it's not a hard something, it's easy. Simply duplicate it, just simply duplicate it, change the name, whatever you want. Let's say if you like to get it, uh, test card eight, just do it and go here and you will get an option there. Just click on this, then you'll get an option like three dot simply link it to the next one and if you're just going to click as you can see now it's item added it's eight so by this way you can add a new testimonial and changing this content is easy not hard i will already share with you and this is the same process if you like to change the a logo just go there on the left sidebar mainly this is the process on uh, on framer it's have an infinity canvas so you don't need to worry about it if your audience cannot see it <laughs> so they can only see the front end, but they cannot see everything. So let's say I like to change this audio logo, so double click, or just simply click on there, then here's the fill option, you can simply change the logo in there, right? So by this way, you can simply change the logo also. Okay, now let's go to the next section, it's mainly the pricing option, and you can do the changes also, you can update the content, you can do also here. Let's say, I don't really want to cave here this option, so what I can do, I can simply remove it. So by this way, you can simply remove one of these options from there. Also, if you think that this is, don't need it, or let's say, you, you need to add a more one, simply just click on this point pricing, control D, or you can simply here on the option copy pasting. So you just click on copy, copy, and then if you're just going to paste, then you can simply paste it. It's have a paste have a lot of options. So as you can see, we can simply paste it. So by this is how easy it is. <laughs> okay, let's go to this button one. So in button, you can simply change the content. Right now, there is no content. So to add the content, what you can do, we can simply double click on there. And now in here in the link, you can simply add the link. So let's say I like to do here uh, something like this, getwpexpo.com slash the contact. So whatever link you have, you can do the link. So it's gonna open a new tab, yes. So let's click on this preview option. So whenever I'm just going to click, as you can see, it's redirecting me into this other page. This is pretty nice and easy. Okay, let's go back to here again. And this is, I think, the same thing. As you can see, it's the same button that we use. So by this way, you can add the link or you can change it. Now let's go to the next option. It's mainly the FAQ section. So to do the FAQ section, it's pretty easy. Let me show you how it is. Just click on this content option. Just click on this first one, FAQ. And the right side, you will get the option called the name. Simply type here whatever you want. Let's say I like to say question triple one, as you can see. Now it's gonna update it to question triple one. Also, I just click on this edit description, this button. And here I can simply, let's say, triple one 
and now if I just going to see the preview of the home just see the preview preview it and now let's scroll down to it let's go with this contact option and as you can see if I just going to click on this question now as you can see it's updated so by this way you can simply update the FAQ section also if you like to make more simply just control D then you get a new one and here you can say as you can see I type here question 4 with the details question 4 like this so as you can see now it's added also now let's go to the next section is CDA option and it's very easy to change the color so I was doing experiment a little bit and to change the color we need to click on here this call to add section and just scroll down there then you will get an option called fill simply just change the color whatever you want then it's gonna be apply instantly also if you like to update the like the text then you already know that how to do this one also changing the icon everything is possible you already know about that now if you don't like anything you can simply re remove you or delete it also if you like to update the content double click on there and then you will get option or here this link simply update it all right so now if you like to change this like update this link social link just click on there and as you can see every single have a different link so you can simply update it then you can update it also also you can change the copyright option yeah everything you can do right now let's say you like to update the button color then how we can do just click on there and let's go here double click and as you can see now we selected let's click on here this fill color and I'm just going to click on there and now in here you need to add the style guide let's say I like to change here this color into this one for every everywhere let's say for example everywhere I like to get this color so what I can do I can individually copy this color code and paste everywhere or either I can simply just click on there and I can create a style there just click on a style button and type your color code or just change the color code you like and type your let's say button 3 so simply just click on this create option and now as you can see we get a different color now to apply the same color to every single button go there and scroll down go to the next one and let's scroll down there and okay so we need to go inside of it click on fill and now let's simply select the button color 3 as you can see now it's instantly updated so by this way you can simply update the button color okay so this is all about this and if you like to change the background color of the website it's also easy just go to the main desktop one and you can simply change it to let's say I like to go with a white color simply I just make a white and now it's white color and now also you see like everywhere it's not changing some of the places is changed and some of the places is not changing uh, because of we was also put the color in a hero section that's why let's say right now if I just remove this field color from hero section as you can see we get the white color option also if I go this header option I can simply remove the color as you can see we get the white option let's go here this one and we can if we just remove it then it's gonna change okay also if I like to go with this one just go click on this section the main top of this and now simply remove it as you can see it's apply the white color let's go to the next one white color and if you like to keep the same then it's fine go to the next one remove the color and if you like to add the image just click on the image click image choose the image or let's say I like to select the black one this image is added as you can see now it's added so if you like to change it to replace it okay so is there anything that you can do the changes let me see all right so let's keep it as it is that's there so it also looks good and now let's say I like to update here this section so simply remove it the section and uh, now as you can see it's white right now so yeah this is all about the changes we do on a website and now it's the last time it's like updating this image so this is also easy to update it but the problem here if you just double click on there then we're gonna redirect on this page and now in here you need to update the image so to update the image you need to go your Figma file and you need to change the image so let's say in my with design as you can see I was already do it so let me copy the image so here is the number one so you can simply number one select it and go here the export option and we get the image let's go back to my framer again 
and just double click here the image choose the image and simply go with the download and this one the image that I was like to use so now as you can see it's updated right now so it is totally empty that's why we didn't get to see anything let's go this one number four export it I get the image choose the image number four and now as you can see it's now changed so by this way you can change the image also the problem here that you need to change it multiple times right now we do in desktop we also need to do and mobile and we also need to do on the tablet also so everywhere we need to update the images so it's have a different different sizes you can you can resize it on figma uh, it's easy let's say it's need almost 603 600 360 image right now say so it's need for this so what you can do I can simply take the same frame just simply hold an alter take out of it and now we can just place the size so it was let's say 620 and let's see how was the size it was like 600 and okay, it's 360 and it was like 600 enter as you can see now it's done I can simply place the image there simply make it center and we can type here let's say one tab change the name and let's simply go here export option we get the image let's go to brave click on double click the image choose the image and simply select it okay as you can see now this image is updated here so now if I just going to see the preview I will get to see the image in there okay let's scroll down okay so it's gonna open as you can see this image so we got it here and if I go to my let's say tablet version we get it get to see the same image there as you can see it's the same image with the different animation as you can see it's scrolling I mean it's it's going a uh, left side as you can see so also if you need any help like if you don't understand how to do or if you don't have any time for doing these tabs, then you can simply contact with us. You can type our website, getwpix.com uh, slash contact. You can go website and here we can simply fill up the form and just text to us. We're gonna handle it and we're gonna definitely help you. Now let me show you a few settings here. So to do the setting and publish this website, you need to click on here this gear option as you can see at the top, this setting option. And then in here you will get to see like your title like homepage title so right now you can type here your website name let's say my website name is hello agency this will be my uh, name when someone just going to search in Google and this is the description just write here and description uh, about your company or about your website so that whenever someone just going to search in on Google they will get to see on search engine right now as you can see it's showing search engine so if people are gonna search it then they will get to see our website in life so i'm going to save it and if you go here this general option this is all about this and also it's have some more settings let's say if you like to add here the fab icon fab icon is something like as you can see at the gmail top you can see an icon this is called the fab icon so you can easily make an fab icon and figma and just upload here and then is, this is mainly the social image social image is something like um when someone just going to share your website through social media then which image they get to see so you can add here the images so this is the two thing okay now let me show you that how you can make the fab icon and uh, the social media one okay so it's pretty easy S simply just click on a frame in there just simply take a frame and i was holding shift that's why i get the same to same and now let's go to see what is this uh, size it's 32 and 32 so let's go here uh, let's change it to 32 so this is the thing and let's uh, type here fab I can and now let's say uh, I need to show my logo or whatever you like to do so simply copy so I copy it and simply control X simply paste it so as you can see I can see here GE so I can reduce the size a little bit so let's say I like to say let's say get only this or I like to show here the Z only let's say for example I like to show only Z and let's increase a little bit okay so let's keep the center plan center and center and let's change the background color so I select the fab icon section and let's simply press I and simply select the color and as you can see now I could get 
get it so let's simply export it as a PNG right now I got it I got it now let's go back let's upload this is our fav icon so we get this right, as you can see now it's updated now let's go to the next icon it's like social one so it's 1200 630 so let's go back again on Figma and let's again take a frame and let's simply draw in a frame change the size here to 1200 also change your size into 630 pixel as you can see we get the same and now here I just like to press my logo so I can simply press my logo and I can simply increase a little bit make them center center and I like to feed it So I change the name so to change the name layer just double click and you can simply change it and to change the color just simply select here uh, let's scroll down then you'll get to see the field color and simply change it it's something like the same thing um, like framer so now let's simply export it uh, as a PNG I get it let's go back simply upload it okay this is not our this is one as you can see this is one okay so this one is different this one all right now as you can see it's added and now we can make it safe so yeah this is now already saved okay so let's go to the next option is domain let's see is save or not okay it's safe so let's go to this domain option and in here domain we can simply make them publish so we just need to make them publish then we can do it so let's click on here this publish button to make the publish okay so right now it's published right now and as you can see we get an a uh, domain there automatic domain and if you scroll down then you can simply select a free domain so uh, you can simply select which domain you like you like to get a uh, framer AI framer website whatever you want you can get it so let's say I like to go with this is our agency website so I like to say hello agency I like to type it okay so this is I get and let's click on this select option as you can see this is already taken so it was by me so let's say L agency um, by Ozzy okay or let's say hello hey Ozzy okay I type here or Ozzy agency I type here let's click on this check mark okay right now this is done so this domain is mine so if someone from anyone of the world they this type Ozzy agency dot frame our website they will get my website exactly same to same like this right now as you can see loading and they will get to see my website in the air right so this is the way now if you like to redirect them anyone this is pro and this is really with the form and this is something for analysis if your website is down or something like this this is you can see analysis and this is the plan if you like to upgrade it and if you like to add the custom domain on a website then you can do it so it's only five dollar per month if you like to get it but right now if you want to use their domain like this one it's absolutely for free so you can share this uh, link with anyone so let me uh, open another another tab so let me go to chrome again and let me open here this link as the agency dot frame at a website then as you can see i get to see and a website so if you gonna try it by yourself if you type as the agency dot frame our website you will get the same website and there so I hope guys you understand like how to create an agent's website from Inframer. So if you really like this video then click on this like button and if you're new on my channel so you can do subscribe. Also if you like to make a different type of agency website then I have three more. So this is the another version of agency website. This is also built on Framer. So you can see the design. So I will give you this link in my video description. If you like to get it then you can get. This is version 2 of get double pack spot and if you go here this one this is another version of um, agency website this is mainly for the marketing uh, website so this is marketing de design agency website and this is the design right now and this is the tab and every single design is 100% responsive so I will give all of this link in my video description so you can uh, check it out everyone okay and this is the design I was make this is the version 2 that I was make before as you can see
So that's it. Thanks for watching.